everyone so today's topic is desert locust or locust plague which is in the news and used for geography environment and the agriculture part so this topic is brought and presented by me the priya singh singer so here is two words one is the locust okay and second is the desert or the plague so locust is a type of pest or type of insect and which is causing the famine or the crop destruction and what is a desert locust desert locust is a one type of the insect or a grasshopper among the four varieties which enters into india let's explore the details of the issues concerning with the locust plague in india or the desert locust in india so first question arises here so what are locust and how they are harmful locust is a small horn uh, grasshopper and why they are harmful because they generally exist in a group and in a large quantity they increase in number they breed they move in a one large colony and the path they follow it eats whatever comes in its journey okay and as a result it destroy the crops it destroy the economy it destroy the vegetational cover so it is harmful especially to the vegetable crop today in the in this period now what is a desert locust so desert locust is a type of the a grasshopper or insect that enters into india in the month of uh, february first wave and the and the second wave in the month of april and may so among the four varieties which are found in india are follows one we call as the desert locust second we call the migratory locust and third is the australian uh, locust okay all these locust when they are entering they follow a path and the most important among them is the desert locust because it originates in the dry areas of of the africa especially in the horn of africa east africa and then move towards the indian side crossing the the iran pakistan and enters into india now what is the difference between the locust and the grasshopper so one point of difference is that grasshopper is of various variety okay one of the variety of the grasshopper is the locust and in terms of number density and in terms of the mobility locust is more harmful more in number they live in colony and such colonies is called as what called swarm so they lives in a group okay and the group one swarm of locust is having around around 40 million of insects per square kilometer and it can increase up to what called as 80 to 100 million insects per square kilometer and they are moving in one particular direction decided by the the wind direction and the wind speed now generally it is said that 150 km per day it cover in the direction of the wind so how the human is interacting the locust and the grasshoppers so grasshoppers or the locust when it is in small quantity and they are actually used as a food by the human consumption even also help in the pollination too but when they are in large number so the grasshopper turning into a locust then the large quantity of swarm is affecting the crops because they eat away the entire crop produce so its objective is to you know, destroy it because they are highly feeding habit and and destroy the vegetation cover so it is said that after the event of gra- uh, these uh, event of the passage of locust Uh, through a agriculture field then it will be controlling or indicating the existence of drought so it is an existence of drought indicator so what is the history of locust invasion in india if you are looking at the history of uh, locust attack in india since 9, 1812 large number of locust incident has been recorded and the last which was the worst before 2020 occurred in the month in the year of 2011 so and the worst this time in the month of may 
2020 is the worst after the gap of 27 years. It's the worst in the gap of this. So it is not in India, like even in the Pakistan also after a gap of 25 years or in the Iran after the gap of 70 years, even in the Kenya, Saudi Arabia and other African countries or in the Horn of Africa, it is occurring after a gap of uh, 25 to 60, 70 years. So this is devastating the entire cropping cycle or agricultural economy. So what are the countries that are affected by the desert locusts? So you can see on the map. So desert locust is been affecting the countries into, into three areas today. One is in the Africa that is called the, according to the UN, okay, according to the UN Food Agricultural Organization, there are three regions. First region, which you marked, marked up here, is called the, the Western region which comprises of of eastern africa okay which include the somalia kenya tanzania etc then is the central region which comprises of the red sea and the adjoining area of Djibouti, ethiopia and the arabian peninsula then crossing the persian gulf then in, it become the eastern region so eastern region include the iran pakistan and the india generally what happened these desert locusts germinate or breed in the dry soils okay dry so the female okay female pest female pest or female insect or female locust lay down the eggs in the dry soils during the moist and the temperate condition they breed so in the month of december january generally they they breed okay okay and they grows in number so when there is a dry condition or the hot condition the breeding condition spoils so in the month of february march that is called in the spring season the, it's the breeding ground in, in the central region, especially in the in the Arabian part or in, even in the eastern region. And then after that, they try to enter into India as they called as the summer. Summer breeding happens in the India and Pakistan side. This is a track. So in the India, they enter mainly through the Pakistan and Iran only. This is the major route. And the one more route is there. Sometimes they may enter into what called the western India. And so let's see the questions here. So what is the locust you have understood? So locust is a group of short horned grasshoppers that multiply in numbers as they migrate a long distance in a destructive swam. So swam is a group of these insects in the range of 40 million per square kilometer on an average and it covers a distance of around 150 kilometers a day. Generally they move in a daytime only. So in the night time they do not operate, so they do not fly. And the direction and the speed is determined by the wind actually. So that means the entire swarm of these insects move or follows the wind speed and the wind direction. There are four species of locust found in India. One is the desert locust, or second is called migratory locust, third is called Bombay locust, and the fourth is called tree locust. Now, what is it? Locust swam. Swam means a group. A large group of insect or group in number where density is large and it is characterized by high mobility because they are moving at a speed of around 150 km a day. Depending on the wind speed and the wind direction, each swam consists of 40 to 80 million insects per square kilometer. Now, question arises: Why we are bothered about it what is the concept so swam destroy the leaves flowers insects fruits seeds bark and growing points because they destroy the plant by the sheer weight they as they descend on them in massive number because of large number or when they cover the vegetative area they eat away with that so the desert locust is regarded as the most destructive 
of the all the four pests which enters into India internationally. Small swam covering on one square kilometer able to consume the food of around thirty five thousand people. Okay, now this process can't you know? You already seen the locust formation and the motion movement in India. So how does it enter? What are the two paths of entry? One path comes from the eastern region. Okay, and second path comes from the Horn of Africa. So there are two seasons of breeding. That one is called the spring breeding season. Second is called the summer breeding season. Summer generally the adult grown up actually comes to India. And before the uh, rainy season generally they enter. And when the rain started heavily, they are not able to grow much. And that swam uh, decreased because the green cover they are getting every where okay now let's see the history of desert locust in india do we experience the first time such kind of pest attack in india answer is no locust attacks are not new in india so the today it is breaking the internet media due to its worst effect after the gap of 27 years within recorded history india has witnessed a several locust plague and upsurge since 1812 so, if we see the history, during 1926 to 1931, locust plague cycle has incurred loss of more than 10 crores. And in the year 1942-46, the locust plague cycle leading to the loss of more than 2 crores. And this process continued 1949-55, to 1978, to 1993. So, in this phase, the government has not identified much outbreak of pest attack in India. But worst attack we have experienced in the 20, 20th century in the end and the beginning of the 21st century to 1997 attack and 2011 minor attack. If we are observing from the year 1997, so it's a gap of how many years? 27 years we are experiencing the worst pest attack in the year of 2020. Now, so what are the areas and what are the timings in which the pest is attacking India? So the process started from the January onwards actually. Okay, so January time is actually in this part. So sometime in the February they enters into India. That's we called as in the month of February when they are entering, we call as a spring uh, season. And when in the month of April and May when they enters from Iran and Pakistan side towards India. So that that's actually the timing started from the February, then March, April, May. So generally the amount, whatever is entering is like a two or three uh, swamps only. Okay, in a month is entering and it is small in quantity. Small in quantity. But nowadays, uh, this swam is very, very large. Okay. And it is creating an havoc and it, that's, that's what it has a worst impact over the India, Pakistan as well as in the Iran. So three countries has declared as what called as emergencies. So Iran has declared as an emergency. Pakistan also declared as an locust or desert locust emergency. India too. So now after the COVID-19 pandemic and other natural disaster, economic crisis, this is the agricultural crisis we are experiencing even the world agriculture organization has also expressed their views on it because why what are the factors that strengthening the locust swam in this period and why it is enormous uh, in the year 2020 especially in the month of february till the may 2020 so there are two three reasons generally so this year this uh, uh, Somalian region or Arabian region, even the Iran, Pakistan part or Indian part experienced uh, the rainfall actually. So because of heavy rainfall, the moisture remain. Okay, and this moisture is a good breeding condition for the for this locust pest. Now the female locust lay eggs in mostly in the sandy soils and get activated under the temperate and the in the rainy condition, wet condition, but get unsuccessful in the 
high temperature or where the no rainfall is occurring. So generally in the Horn of Africa or in the, the Arabian Peninsula or in the deserts of Iran, they lay down the eggs in the month of uh, this called the spring season that is from the February time or in the summer time in the, in the month of April they lay down the eggs. So in the spring season they are small but in the April season they are little big or the adult one. So adult swam is entering into India in the month of what called May through the route of Pakistan. Now this is the first factor and second factor is due to heavy rainfall this year in central and eastern region uh, especially in the countries like Yemen, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, Iran, Afghanistan. Okay, that help the breeding condition for the locust because its number has increased. When these locust able to meet this suitable environmental condition, they grow in large number and start breeding abundantly. Whether the population becoming denser, they form a swamp and keep on moving across areas damaging the crops wherever they are green cover they are they are able to observe because the eastern part is converting from the uh, from compared to the western part is what called it's a more relatively greener so they are moving towards the greener area because of monsoonal climate now these swam attacking crops therefore thereby devastating the entire agricultural economy now that's what since they are affecting the agricultural economy that's why it is like a famine or called as a plague and the word used is called, called the locust plague and so in the month of feb that first wave enters in, into india or in the month of may the second wave of locust plague in, enters into india so locust is changing the color and the behavior as for the environmental condition when the generation so the question arises: how the locust desert locust is moving towards India that actually started from two areas one from the the African one of Africa and second is from the Iran uh, Pakistan side okay when they are moving towards east they increase in number the swamp population increases when they are moving eastward and as, as a result its consequences are more adverse towards India now question arise now which part of india which part of india they are actually hitting more and more so in in india they are mainly hitting enters into uh enters through punjab this is the one entry then to the rajasthan area they enters through or even through haryan punjab haryana and rajasthan there's an entry point and after that they enters into up and MP and the Gujarat. So there, uh, thereafter, they enters into the Vidav region of Pakistan. This is the track of moving the locust. Okay. Now, where, whatever the track they covered, so the, please re re recall the states where worst impact of locust attack has been observed in India. So Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, UP, MP and Vidav region of what called Marath. This is the worst of it. And they, among the, them you have to choose the state which has the highest uh, adversity caused by the locust attack. Answer is what called Rajasthan. So now when the locust is moving in these areas so per square kilometer they are eating the food items or the crops of around of which has been eaten by 35,000 people. And the food crisis, that even the food crisis, food shortage it may cause because of uh, the fruits, vegetables, all has been damaged by it. And they may be entering into the food inflation, inflation case because food prices may increase. Farmer distress. Now, the, wherever the agriculture field, standing crops of farmers are destroyed because of pest attack. So the production, productivity, all will fall and the quality of the food would be less and the farmers will lose the income okay and this this will lead into the rural poverty and the farmer poverty so vegetational damages now now if you look at the forest or and the kind of the forestry products also get 
damage. And finally, because of all these such agricultural vegetation losses, GDP of the region or that particular state or village get destroyed. So economic losses are being incurred. And, and this finally, the harvest season, so this in India, the season is for the what called Zayat cross especially for the fruits and what called vegetables get uh, more, more damaged. Okay, especially the mango plantations of the north and the western part of India. So question is how to control such pest attack or this desert locust. So what is the solution for us? So there are various biological and chemical method could be used or institutional steps in the form of integrated pest management techniques. So in case of natural biological uh, approaches, the which is the most effective, but it's a time taking exercise which need a conservation of biodiversity. For example, so natural agents such as crows, miners, starlings, stork, bustard, vultures and all other birds all congregated to feast on the locust but because of the loss of biodiversity these numbers of natural birds which eat the locust is decreasing this we need to conserve the nature biodiversity wildlife for that number one so as a result wherever the greenery is available or other kind of birds are available so they can act as a natural uh, stoppage points or the the or the predators are available second method is a chemical solution in a chemical solution the pesticides and insecticides are used these pesticides or insecticide when it's sprayed into the over the crops or or in that particular area so they kill and the amount of number of this locust will decrease so, so monitoring and the path of these locusts is important so using modern insecticide we can easily can control it okay there is an international locust warning organization called as l w o l w means locust warning warning organization so international organization is there they try to track monitor and intimate the a situation of the pest now here in india so three a groups are required to coordinate with uh, one is iran second is pakistan and third is the india so so we have to coordinate using the international institution called as what locust warning organization so look so all these countries will work together in collaboration and at the border points and intimate as a result some actions could be taken on time okay so india's approach at particular against this locust plague so india is highly equipped with a proper structure and integrated pest management system that is responsible to deal with locust crisis our country is a, has a regular system in place comprising locust officers so the locust officers per district tehsils are observing the situation and intimating to the higher authorities and accordingly some chemical or biological actions are taken so these authorized peoples with the great knowledge of environment and agriculture organized six annual border meeting with the neighbors such as pakistan between the month of june and november and analyze the situation and take the necessary actions the dialogue is either organized at munabao in rajasthan or kokro Kokra par in the Pakistan side, a wireless conversation is also keep happening between the officials of two countries during these months from Jodhpur in India and Karachi in Pakistan. So, so this is uh, Jodhpur is the monitoring center for India for the locust monitoring center for India is what called. So remember as a fact, locust monitoring center is an office of or headquarter or what called regional headquarter of inter, uh, this called locust warning organization also Jodhpur in India. As per the locust warning organization, India has not seen any locust upsurge since the December 2011. Okay. 
So cases has decreased drastically because of use of new technologies in the agricultural sector and the better pest control management in the country. Even if you compare it from the compared to 2020, which is the worst hit locust impact on India. So that was in the year 1990. Since then, we didn't experience much. The minor was in the year December 2011. Now, there is a one more issues we are experiencing for tracking, monitoring and taking a joint initiative. So one solution is a trilateral initiative with Pakistan and Iran. So even the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, has already declared locust emergency in the country. So adult locust group are now reportedly migrating towards Indian borders from Balochistan region, Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunwa region. Considering the seriousness of the situation, India has already proposed a coordinated response to desert locust control to Iran and Pakistan. While Iran has responded positively by accepting India's supply of malathin, malathin, please remember this chemical, is a kind of pesticide and helping with other pest control operation. But Pakistan has and Pakistan took the help of Chinese where they got the 300 tons of uh, supply of pest control pesticide and also 350 vehicle mounted sprays to the Pakistan. Okay, now can you suggest other measures uh, in the in the case of this? So other measures may be economic because the farmers are losing their income, crops have been destroyed, so need an emergency package, okay, economic package to be announced to help the affected states against uh, this, okay, affected states, so in the form of certain kind of insurance, crop insurance to them. This is the one way of help. Second is even the future, there should be a strategy to be developed. Okay. So thank you all of you. If you want to ask any questions, you are most welcome in the comment sections. Thank you. Take care. Signing off.